and we fall, can we rise through it all till we find what we want? Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in, just me, just you. another video i hope you guys are doing really really well happy first day of christmas if you guys are new to the channel my name is patricia make sure to hit the subscribe button and enjoy my journey and if you guys are a returning viewer then welcome back if you guys are a returning viewer you guys know this is my sister christiana and in today's video we're just going to be showing you guys some ideas that me and her put together for santiago's diy calendar so if you guys do not know i have a Seven, I'm going to say seven because he's basically seven month old baby and obviously all these advent calendars I mean now you can get different ones but a lot of them involve chocolate and stuff that's so just like he's not going to be really interested in so we'll leave that for next year so this year I just decided to get little bits and bobs tried to do as much DIY as we possibly could but we also added like special days to go and do stuff as well because he's young so there's not really much out there but these activities does depend on your child's age, so just think about that, and your child's interests as well, so just go by that. But we can give some ideas along the way when we're like, you know, when a few things come by, we tell you guys little bits and bobs or what else you guys can get for your children. So, let's show them first what we're going to... So, for Santiago, this is what we basically have. So it's like a little... We just literally printed okay. this out, and then... What we're going to do with him is what? Just single print him, number. Yeah, so every day, instead of him like opening something up because he won't open it, I, with his finger, will just basically stamp every day until the 25th, but we're not gonna, he's not going to open anything really on the 25th. But anyways, yeah, so he's just going <coughs> to do his own. There's other ideas you guys can do. If your kids are older, you can do like some pop pop things. If they're not, maybe they can identify the number. Maybe not do numbers, maybe do of our like the things cartoons, yeah right, that so. might be you know excited about maybe have like next to the one have like Peppa Pig and they have to find where Peppa Pig is but obviously Santiago's baby so he doesn't identify anything right now so yeah so that's what we're going to use and I'm just going to hang it up somewhere um at home so what we're going to do is I will show some my sister will show some I'm going to leave the DIY stuff to my sister because she basically had all the ideas, so you guys can like talk more about it. But the other, well, most of the stuff that I say basically my sister bought for him. So let's just put it that way. A few bits and bobs here and there was my mum and my mother-in-law, but literally nearly everything was my sister. So uh, most of the stuff, yeah, it's just explained it that way. Okay, so this was the first one. So I don't know if you've seen on TikTok, I think. They do a lot, you know the tissues coming out and stuff like that. So obviously, it's quite, that's quite cheap as well. But then we also said, you know, let's do DIY. Um, so basically we put a lot of different fabrics, a lot of different fabrics inside, you can add anything, you add stuff to the season you're in, you can do like, this is helps them with the motor, uh, like fine motor skills and gross motor skills, helps them to take, to put an it, put out and put in, you know, touch and feeling, so you can put balls, you can put, there's 101 stuff you can put in here, um, obviously we made it as simple as possible, Santa's still too young to, but you can get children to decorate it with you. They can decorate what they want inside. It can help communication as well. When you put stuff inside, where's the ball? When to cut the ball, say ball. How to speak. So, yeah. So, we've got, I think we've got, like, little animals that we even recycle because that's what we use for yeah. his baby shower favours. So, our friend, we're like, oh, probably can use the animals as Just well. Just make sure you guys supervise the kids yeah, with these stuff, okay? <laughs> so, obviously, I don't make it... What I'll say is don't just put it there for them. Make it like a two-minute activity with them because if you put it out, they'll just get bored of it. And that's what tends to happen with a lot of toys. Parents just put it out and they expect children, children to see it, they don't get bored. So maybe just put, keep twisting and turning. Maybe like put three a day and then no, let's do this today and stuff like that. So a little sensory box, decorate your hand on it. We've done it as simple as possible, but you can do whatever you want with it. Stickers, glitter, with your kids. And this works until like they're five, I think. Yeah, or even more. Some, even it, sometimes more. it depends. And if you your know. child has like special educational needs, like this really helps with like putting stuff in there that they might really like, like spinning toys, anything like that that you guys might see that they interact with every day. 
can go in there as well. But I, for me personally, working in the nursery, every child kind of likes this activity. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they will be just specific for one child. And you can put, like, for example, room. like... Um, like you can join that nursery rhyme so you can put like uh, objects like to go to a little star you can put a star in you can take it out do to go to a little star and stuff like that until they start speaking obviously when they're older they won't care about this but at least until they're five it helps them to you know speak so what I'm going to do so this video is for YouTube obviously because it's on YouTube but what I'm going to be doing every day if you guys want to add me um, add me on TikTok so every day Santiago will be playing with these and I'm going to be showing you guys little examples of what you guys can do as well with them with these DIY activities you're going to see him opening them up every day and my objective for every single toy is really focus on that toy for that day so like this will be that his toy because obviously he goes to nursery now so he only spends like about an hour two hours with me really when I'm not working with me at home so we're going to really focus each activity specific for that day for that time so i'll just be showing it to you guys on tiktok but maybe a day delayed um so if that makes sense so like on the second i'll be showing what you got on the first and so on so on because it'll be hard to like do it on the day depending on mm. what time he's actually going to use and it. all this stuff i think i bought these fabrics i bought from Shein. yeah uh, they come in packs and of like well. yeah come in packs of 10 but i'm sure these are uh pack cleaners you find them anyway power shop and stuff these are quite good because if, if you've got like the normal and then you've got obviously like metallic kind of thing so it's good to take a but i'm sure amazon but she and it's quite cheap so yeah and then the rest is just a shoe box yeah shoe box and you just decorate what you want so. <laughs> yeah so the next one is just really basic very simple obviously we got him some toys as well we didn't just get everything diy because there's not that much you know idea especially for how young he is it's quite hard um a lot of things can be quite repetitive so we got these finger puppets um <coughs> let me come out of the things finger puppets with some animals um he really likes this stuff it's good for his mouth to chew things like that i actually got this from b m three pounds um to chew and then obviously you can use it for like nursery rhymes songs sounds and so on so you can expand i love toys that you can expand i'm not really a big fan of like noisy toys don't like stuff like that but you know you always have to have a bit of everything but um i like toys that you can expand for different stuff you can even put this in the box that we showed you guys before pop it in there you can actually use this in the water as well for different 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 stuff santiago is like <coughs> obsessed with putting everything in his mouth now so these will be amazing for that you so yeah painting with them play with them yeah perfect but, yeah, so these are the ones I've got, and they're just like simple animals. And then obviously you can expand. The basic ones, isn't yeah, they're learning as much as as much as you can with this one. So this was our invention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know how much you can, guys can see, but it's basically me and Pat. It's basically one of those you know the plate stands that you do when you when you're drying your plates when you wash your plates. So we done to get a bit more interesting. We obviously coloured them with some, I think it was acrylic pens or... Yeah, things that like acrylic in yeah, slash felt tips. We find it there uh, because obviously the colours are a bit a bit too much for uh, Santiago now. But what is it's just basically him to match the colours with the rings. Or even if, because he's still quite young, just as long as he does puts it in the... Yeah. In the that's perfect. And then slowly starts getting the colours, you know, talking about colours. Uh, and just basically, you know, you, you can... Well, not so much chew on it, but you can feel and touch. So it's quite a good, and you trust me, you know, counting. You would, you would be surprised how long children are playing with this. Something like, so simple, yeah. Simple. Obviously, you have to be supervised in case it falls forward, stuff like that. But you know, when it gets older, it's like getting more balanced and stuff like that. And then obviously, you can take this out after. You can use it to stack things, books, whatever. It's just it's on. Yeah, like just so many stuff you can do with it. So this is a good thing for maths. You can about circles. You can talk about different shapes. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff. So it's another DIY we've done, and also this stuff we bought on Shein as well. Yeah, I love I love my Shein. So don't really guess. <laughs> right. So the next thing is this cute Christmas personalized storybook. As you can see, it's got his name on it. This was my sister that actually got for him. So basically, is yes, the book, the story is quite long for Santiago, but my plan is to basically read like a page of him every day. And then don't forget, Santiago one day will grow up. He's not going to be forever this little. So it's a book that he can keep forever and ever and ever. And he can always read and look back at it and see what it says. It does come with also a teddy match to it. We will link down below where we got it from. It comes with a teddy, but I'm going to have him opening it separate days. So maybe like the teddy first and then... Um, the story after because the story actually does have the teddy inside the end, yeah. so you have to kind of like link it together but 
um yeah it's like i said it does it is quite of a long it's not really that long but it's long for santiago it won't be long for like a two three year old they will actually like to know the story but for santiago he's six months he is quite young but as i said i'll be reading it like a page or two for him once he gets bored i'll just stop reading basically mm. and then the next day i'll continue from there and you don't have to read you know children that are young that's the good thing about books you don't have to read exactly the, the words that are in it and as long as you're basically talking to them about what's happening the page and pass it on yeah then when they start um, getting older you can start reading the whole story but like, can you invent your own yeah. story along the way as well which is quite good and also i just think it's really nice to always have a very special christmas book little traditions like that to keep going on in the future and things like that i think is really cute so this will be a nice one to always have out and then after when christmas is finished i would put it away and like only take it out the following year just so that it can always be in good condition um but yeah that's basically two presents in basically one which is quite better and yeah. Cheap and cheaper and cheaper cheerful. Also, if you want to DIY your own Christmas story, you can do that. Get a scrapbook, DIY your own Christmas story in there. Put some pictures of your children, of you, maybe your lot's previous um, family photos of Christmases, and then just talk about the story of your family. It just, like I said, it really depends on your child's age and how much you can expand that like learning curve of Christmas for them. Okay, this is a quite a funny one. So these are called sensory bags. So we've done one just to show you an example, but obviously we're going to put one or two more in with the present. Not with stuff inside, but... So basically all we've done will be added some, like, soap, body body wash, soap. Yeah, you can gel. Put, shower you gel. Put, shower gel. You can put uh, gel, you can put, uh, I don't know. Um, you could also, we, we chose to do a clear one, so we can put, like, these sequins, and you can, like, touch the sequins, because obviously with Santiago, everything's about sensory now. But you can put colour in there. And then have other stuff. You can also actually, something we was going to do on it, but then we thought maybe it was too much for Cynthia because you can actually, the marker, draw something and then they can decorate it. So where we saw a good idea was like a Christmas tree and then they could put the sequins to decorate the Christmas tree, if that makes sense. You can put paint. Um, yeah, you can put paint as well. You can put water. You can put... A good thing as well, people do, especially in nurseries, they put their name and they can use their finger to try and spell their name. Yeah. Uh, when they're a bit older, trying to get them to have a concept of name. Stuff like that. They're very good. All you do is you sort of take them to the floor. It's perfect for children that are such a child's age until like until they start crawling. Help just stand on it, use their hands, and the feeling is actually quite smooth, uh, soothing. Yeah. I love. I love it myself. To yeah. so just touch it and stuff. So it's quite cheap. You just use a, a freezer bag. Uh, we bought the glitter from and soap from Power oh, Shop. Nice. Yeah. That's it, and then through the bags, my mum had it, but yeah, you could just get them anyway. <laughs> so, another toy that we got here, we got this from Sainsbury's, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the age does say 12 plus, but as I said, I do want to get toys that wouldn't work for him just now, especially these sort of toys you wanted to kind of like expand. And again, it doesn't make a noise, it's literally just they put the little toy down and then it pops up. It's just like a pop up toy, and again. You can expand the learning a lot here. Again, there's fine motor skills again, shapes, animals. Uh, for some reason, he has a lot of animal stuff. <laughs> I don't know if it's because but he's... Babies a, are like that. They've got there's a lot just of animals, animals everywhere. But also stuff. colours. There's so much you can do with this um, toy. Again, it doesn't have noise because I'm not a fan of noisy toys. Um, but yeah, there you go. This is basically... Health concentration as well. I'd be more alert. So basically, children are quite scared of pop-up stuff. And you can help them practice or have knowledge of what would pop up but it's okay if it's good if it's yeah, okay emotions, like talk about the emotions like surprise shocked things like that that you can use again just can expand and maybe that's... maybe we're taking our practitioner side a little bit too much yeah. on this but it can actually like expand or look you cut you can again count and that's the main reason why i don't for santi because santi's off of me and pat i've noticed he is quite scared of loud noises and the people that I've seen like even on uh, uh, it's not the loud noises it's more the Rack sudden stuff, stuff. Yeah. like so for example if we're singing happy birthday he's okay with it but if we all just start going yeah, yeah. all of a sudden he just gets a bit like he doesn't know how even to control even in the gender reveal we don't yeah know. he doesn't really know how to control that emotion which is absolutely normal because he's really young but again to be like, this will kind of like help that help. with him and then he has control himself of you know when it's going to happen so yeah, this is another toy that we got. Yay! Yeah, this is one of my favourite ones that I love doing. It took me ages though. Um, but these are like literal, just basically uh, sensory rings. Uh, we bought these. So these ones, 
literally we bought the pack we bought a pack of eight three packs of eight yeah, the, thing, circle thing, the yeah. circles and it literally went for three or four different activities, um, activities or different sensory toys or whatever you want to call them so um and these were the same one we used for the box we just cut some stri- stripes out and added on to make sensory and trust me babies will take this to there and beyond they will twist and turn it they'll put it in their mouth they will play with it they'll put it around its wrists and it's just amazing. They talk about colours, they talk about sensory in their hands, about the touch in their face. You can, it's good to be playing alongside little adults. And you can, like, pick a boo. So much stuff you can do. Right? With it, so yeah. much stuff with you. You can add, you can add bells on it and you can t- change it up every single time. Um, you can add bells, you can change it up maybe in autumn, add some autumn leaves, you know. And I think the leaves. older your child gets, the longer these can be as mm-hmm. well. So they can be longer, so like the more movement they make. Obviously, like Santiago now, he's tiny, so just doing this movement for him, all of these are enough. But like if your child's older, you can have them much longer, and obviously because their movements are way more like expanded. And obviously, they're going to put it in their mouth, we don't want too much cloth in their mouth, yeah. so that's a fit, they're roughly the same size. A you can of- buy these done as well, but they are quite pricey, so... Can just actually do it yeah, yourself so for under like under under a fiver probably yeah more than that less yeah. than that but yeah it's all from Shein and it was literally done so this is one of my favourite I think it's cute cute colours I don't I think the same colour but you can do different colours you can you know make ribbons I don't know so it's endless what you can do with it but yeah, very nice idea. So, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is the basics of the basics. It's something that I think every parent should have in their house. Again, is puzzles. Okay, so he, he's going to open one each day. Obviously, the three of them is way too much to basically do with them in a day. Again, this one we will probably say is a bit too much for his age. And maybe the numbers only got to number three or five. But as like I said, he's going to get older and we never know. So, some kids, you'll be surprised how quick kids learn and the things they know and how crazy. I was actually sitting down with him for like literally 15 minutes the other day and he learned how to clap. So we never really know how quick kids, you know, they can be advanced in one thing, delayed in other. So we never really know how much it goes. But yeah, so this was just, again, lots of different colours going on there. Very fun, very bright. Again, you've got a bit of animals. No, there's no animals on it, actually. No, Surprising. No, but, colours. you know, there's colours and they're all in capital letters, which is obviously much easier to identify a letter for the younger children in capital letters than the older children. Just bear that in mind. So if your kid is older, then maybe you can have them in um, small letters, but these are all in capitals for Santiago. And then he's got one with numbers and he's got one with shapes. With Santiago, I'll probably just focus on like the main ones, so like S for his name, um, like little things like that, maybe M for mum, just like little stuff that you might want him to learn. But again, like I said, this is quite for older children, but you can use it for now. The only thing that really irritates me about this stuff is when you start losing pieces. Yeah. That stresses me out. The puzzle has to go in the bin. But hopefully we'll keep them quite maintained. It's more about the fit stuff into the right uh, right hole, and that's what's more the mess. Not about the... Yeah. Technically, you have to forget about what the letters are there and the number. That's when they're a bit older. But it's more about the holes. Can they fit their stuff into the holes? Can they know where things belong? A big thing that helps with puzzles, helps in child's development, is problem solving. Yeah. Even though you might not think it, you think sometimes it might just be, oh, because it's numbers, it's about maths. Or it's because it's letters, it's about literacy. No, it's about problem solving. So it's about solving where the piece goes, mm-hmm. basically. But then, it, turn and turn yeah. and but then again, it's like I said, these ones are quite easy to fit in. They're just literally like big blocks. So like the H is not actually a H, the space. It's just like a, a square. So it's very easy for him to do it. It's not like, it's just like the shapes. <coughs> um, and the numbers is basically the same. So these are quite easy in a way. But then obviously there's puzzles that are much more expanded, um, bigger for the children. So yeah, this is another one. So another sensory, obviously Santa's sensory, is again my favourite, my little wooden wooden <laughs> and all we done well this one was This was like last minute actually. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I got a bit of a cough. But um yeah, so Pat said, you know what, we will into the gift. I passed on Pat Pat Tina's left. She's like, no, let's do a sensory uh, so this is all um sensory, just basically give it to them, let them explore. Do be careful, some of the pack yeah. peels have, have sharp ends, so try and uh, collect them underneath or get a bit of um, glue gun and put it on top so it can be soft, so just obviously make sure that you it's health. But yeah, these are quite good. These are quite toys, you can leave them to play with by, them, well, not by themselves, but you know, they'll technically be there because they're quite 
cuts the quite um yeah thing. but yeah sensories now that you can put in a box as well in a sensory box and stuff like that and i think sand is so much into sensory right now yeah. so i think you will love it and the colours you can just choose what you want to put around you can, put, you can also put ribbons yeah you can even attach the ribbon mm -hmm. to the ends as well so you can do a lot of it again with this sort of stuff right another toy we actually got this one from Poundland guys Poundland not everything is a pound now okay <laughs> but um, we got this one from Poundland and it's basically a caterpillar and again it's about you know final motor skills using the fingers using the hands again colours Again, it's about twisting and turning and learning how things... And no matter where you put it, um, it's always going to do basically the same thing. So the <coughs> end result is basically the same. Um, so again, I think this is a very super fun. I have this in my nursery and I swear to God, every child loves that sort of... We actually had to buy like two or three because they were always fighting for the same one, which was really stressful. Um, and again, this would be really nice because it links um, a toy that he has at nursery as well. So it actually links at home. So you can do continuous learning from nursery home which is great and yeah it's just really basic and simple and then you can put this in his mouth it's not dangerous um you know there's nothing here again you can let him leave him play with this on his own it's definitely not heavy it's really really lightweight so um yeah i think, I think it was a really nice toy that is just continuous learning and i yeah i think, it's I really think it good. was for four part four five part of the yeah it was to be fair it was really i think we paid much more my Nursery paid much more for it than what we paid. I mean, Pound was doing bits, guys. So it's true. But we get crystal pills from there. It's in sensory bottles. So we've got one with soap and glitter and water. See it? Oh, trying to get as much as possible. We've got one with pasta and some sequences. Trying to get out so you can see. Oh. Focus on that. We've got one with little. Pom -poms. pom poms and secrets as well and last one is some rice with some glitter so these are sensory bottles guys hmm. so um obviously you can do big bottles uh small bottles this is an i think the perfect size for santi uh big bottles are just too um big for him especially if you add water it's not getting a bit heavier than it should do um it was like you know obviously you can you can use like normal plastic bottles but what tends to happen is they tend to squash it especially younger children they tend to squash mm -hmm. it and it can break and it can leak stuff like that so, so this one's quite hard hard plastic um i think the right perfect size i think i'll put them on Sheen as well? Yeah, that was Sheen. Yeah, Sheen. <laughs> and yeah, and this is literally stuff you have at home. Pasta everyone has at home, I'm sure of it. Everyone has rice. rice. Everyone definitely has water <laughs> and soap because you have brushing your hands. You just have to buy like the glitter and the sequins. Yeah, that's even if you want to add some people don't add, people just add maybe stuff. You could add all your, you add all your. And if your kid actually oil. goes to a nursery, we, for example, if a parent wants to do an activity with their child at home, sometimes they even ask us, they say, oh, can I have some glitter, just a tiny bit so I can do an activity with them at home or finish with it with them at home. So you can, I don't know if you're on nurseries, but technically nurseries don't really ever say no yeah. if you ask them for, because they know that some parents obviously we're going through a hell of a crisis right now with a lot of stuff. So if you do need support and you need help and you need to ask your nursery, then I'm sure my nursery never says no and I'm sure a lot of nurseries... But even so, that like, power shop does like packets of glitter for like eight little tubes. Yeah, you literally waste what five percent of it on this. And yeah, there's so much literally left so much left over. Apart that, you know, I said maybe take it home from Santi. You need it eventually. <laughs> you can add like you can always add a, a play that you do at home yeah. stuff like that. So um, yeah, so basically just a nice activity. Just keep them from going. They rolls on the floor. This helps to crawl. They roll on the floor and it helps them to go tummy time and and to sound crawl and start well. sound music. You know. Especially with instruments, a lot you do, you do DIY, you do like drumming, drumming, you can do like with, you know, with like. Just pots. bear in mind that these bottles, guys, they do open up like this as well. So if you have water on, especially if your kid is older, you might want to super glue it so they're not able to open it and they're not able to roll it. I mean, I didn't do it because I don't think Santiago will be able to open this, but try and error, you never know. Put some tape um, as well, sellotape. And yeah, and also if you want to reuse it, maybe just put sellotape because after you, obviously, you can always take the things out. And reuse the bottle. Oh, uh, yeah, it's sometimes not. this stuff's getting a bit um, skewy and stuff. Yeah, you do have to kind of change it. And then you can do it seasonally. Like, I've done here has like some snowflakes and stuff, but like, 
for example, when, for example, Valentine's comes, she could do a Valentine's wow. one. Stuff. You know, just change it up. And goes off for books. So something like, you know, you, you go on a bear hunt. Oh my gosh, yeah, I do that. I'm Yeah. <laughs> so you can do like bear, bear hunt, you can do like storm and, you the know, mud. mud and the cave, dark black. You can do like, um, hunt caterpillar and different, you know, different fruits and stuff in it. You know, just cut them out or stuff like that. And I'll just, so you can do like, was, I know we're going a bit too much, but you know, this is what helps the child develop, so it just helps them, and it's gifts that you can give them. Parents just think about our oh, toys and major, major stuff. These things are what's doing it now, okay? And we're just giving you guys ideas that we see kids in our nursery use a lot. Like, maybe if I gave my, uh, at nursery a choice of a sensory bottle or a toy, they would definitely go for a sensory bottle, just because of the fact that it looks real. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's what kids want to go for, real stuff. So yeah, I'm fifty just, fifty in it. We believe in the fifty fifty. I mean, yeah. A certain thing you have to get toys because children need they toys. Deserve, they, they need deserve. to know the real life. Obviously, you're not just gonna block out life and Natural make. Stuff. Yeah, naturally, they're gonna go for the toys. The toys are bright colours. They're gonna want to go through that. But to extend their play, there's so much a toy can do in comparison to something so simple like this. Believe me, I'm not gonna go. I think we're going yeah, into too yeah. much depth. But you, you, you yeah. get, if you guys work with children, you, you get, get where we're going. This is a deathful mask for all parents. Whether you have a boy, a girl, it does not matter. If you are not giving a sex to your baby, it does not matter, okay? You need this toy. Legos. Honestly, I can't tell you guys. This is like the lifesaver of every practitioner. I don't know other nurseries, but in my nursery, when we bring out the Lego, the kids are silent, oh. constructed. They will stay there, focused on play, and this expands their imagination so, 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 so much. This and blocks for me is two things that I absolutely love putting out. Again, you talk about everything on this. Colours, shapes, numbers, whatever you want to do. They can build whatever they want to build. If they build two Legos and they say, that's a car, that's their car, okay? Believe it, that's their car. So this, for me, I think is definitely a must. Obviously... Depending on your child, you can um, size the Lego down. So the bigger your children go, the bi the smaller it is, it's more, it. and it's so it's much more challenging as well. Obviously, a three-year-old will smash this in two seconds and get bored. But Santiago won't get bored of this. It makes sounds, it makes noise, um, and obviously I can't go with the other ones because they're way too much challenging. There's even bigger Legos than this. There's like jumbo jumbo ones that we have in our nursery. So um, this is, I think, the next step for him because he has the massive ones at our nursery. Again, it's it's advertised to one year and above, but like I said, Santiago's going to grow up, and it's nice to just have toys that he can keep using. Because I'm telling you guys, kids do not get bored of their toys. Toys like this, they don't get bored of it. And one big thing about it, and I think we haven't touched on this for a lot of them is if you have friends over it's one of the biggest things you can yeah. put out to socialise with, with sharing into but work. even with you as a parent yeah. as well, I think it's something that you guys can both expand on a lot while playing yeah, and stuff fun. like that so, and then obviously they have the fun ones the ones that you can't can actually create little stuff and you need to follow like what yeah, you're creating no, no. so it's super super cool um, and it's one of my favourite toys for children so yeah this is another thing that Us. we got for Santiago I think you can really notice what they are yeah I put a picture of like what it kind of is and what pictures are on there so well. basically it's like lollipop sticks you can see behind and what i've done and me and pat done is we printed out photos of i think these three is pat and santi santi with uh ivan and santi with flash their dog but obviously pat said eventually she'll do more she's supposed to be simple ones first uh, family home first so um it's like little puzzles that obviously not puzzles but you connect them i don't like i don't see the but basically, you connect. So I think it's all Pat, I think. Yeah, it's Pat and Ethan. No, no that's Flash. That's Flash and Santi. So basically, the piece, a photo of them, and then what I've done, I just stick them on the um, load of sticks, put some tape, uh, I've put some tape, you can use sticking back, and like that, you can, you know, and then cut it, and then it makes basically a puzzle on the floor. I guess it is quite advanced for Santi, but what the Pat can do, start off with, is put, put it together herself, and then say, This mummy. Daddy. It's more the recognition and then eventually build it stuff. up. That's yeah. what I'm saying. All these toys are something that I want to build up the older he gets and starts to be like, oh, okay, this is what it's for. But, um, yeah. You notice now, obviously, I have you half of Santi. He's had his toys since he was born. The ones he yeah, he hardly now. has any toys. Yeah, but he's got the ones, because <laughs> like I say, we don't really do a lot of toys when they're younger because technically what do they play with but it obviously starts to a certain age and he's gone now you, you like 10 years you won't play with him he just looks at you like 
what what is this for me? I don't yeah, interested you in can't it. You just, you just keep you challenging it, challenging it, it. And I'll probably go look at it first. Go put it in his mouth, but eventually, pack so much repetition doing it. He was getting to get it. And once he gets them, I can make it a bit bigger and try and make the photo quite big. So just focus on their faces, and then afterwards, you start maybe putting a bit smaller photos. Yeah, I add more people to the, the photos. Try to make it as simple as possible. But yeah, it's a good DIY. All you have to do is print out the paper. These are t- definitely cheap. You can get them in power shop. I got them shin, but you can get them in power shop. Um, you can eat ice cream and just let it dry on these ice cream Easy, yeah. Especially in summer. So, good good activity. Good present. Good. And even for your older siblings. They can yeah. help the little, little siblings. If you have well. siblings and them together, they can build it together. Okay, well, so. Really right, we got this one. Me and my sister are super excited about this one. This was from B&M and it's £5. And it's basically a disco colour changing bath light. Um, we was indecisive between these and animals that lit yeah. up. The only difference is I've noticed with those animals that lit up is it takes really long for the water to dry, so they eventually use the battery and stuff really, really quick. Santiago loves water play. I'm, I think most kids love bath time. A lot of them don't, but eventually end up doing. And Santiago will absolutely love this. He loves lights. Obviously, he's mesmerised by his lights. He's mesmerised. Everything sensory. So basically, lights is one of the biggest things. So we got one of these. I don't really know how it's used, so I'm hoping it's used very simple. But I'm gathering you just put it in and then it lights up. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure how it actually works. But it, for what we read, is you either put in the water floating or you can stick it somewhere around the bath. Um, it has to touch the water though. It has to touch the water to light up. So um, yeah, and then obviously colours. This is just really about having fun with the bath this is something fun and exciting but also like the water yeah well. and or maybe if they don't like water try something fun like this because maybe it might make them more intrigued maybe not it might even scare them just as i said you know your child best and you know what he will like he or she will like um so also this is another water um toy this is actually my mother-in-law that I got for him so i'm just going to put it basically they'd be separate gifts but it's also another water one but again you don't only have to use this in the water you can literally use this anywhere else you can even put it in that box the sensory box we had and it's just plain simple sea animals obviously there's much more than this but these are just like basic crab well. yeah you can put it on sand you can put it on anything on the tray i think there's been when since i was really really young he was about three months i done like a sensory bowl with him with water and i don't remember what i did their balls i think it was but then i think i have it on my instagram i don't even remember but uh, then you can add these these are just really simple stuff Hello, rub bar, so you it's just mouth. for him to have fun really and then obviously learning will expand the way he wants it but yeah so another two good calendar um things and this can also be really good for your um stockings that's it as well oh famous <laughs> so we've got one educational as well with it <laughs> and hygiene yeah <laughs> people ask when is it the, the, the best time to start tooth brushing from when they fit they pay the first tooth start brushing teeth um start showing them you will do it they'll eventually learn you don't do it it's like it's like anything you don't show a child how to do something they won't want to do it so whenever they start just buy them a simple toothbrush and um some nice milk toothpaste um yeah just do it and also as well because sometimes some kids they're not really content with using different textures in their (coughs) mouth so child i think is going to absolutely love it but you know, we never know, um, and I just think it's something that he needs to start doing. So, uh, too much is the best. Yeah, just you know, they're, they're two years, they're two years, and eventually to start getting them older, start doing their own toothbrush. I'll say maybe after a year, get another one. Get going. Yeah, they can always. Um, yeah, I, I think I know six months, but the you know, children only six months. I think about a year. Yeah, it really it depends, and obviously it's something you guys can do together as a routine. And again, it's a nice um, thing as a routine in the morning or at night before they go to bed. To keep that the basically routine going for the babies. Healthcare. So this is another little gift my sister found in Shein. I don't know what my sister typed up in Shein, but she did type something up as these things appear. So we got him is basically a magic water book. It's quite small, and it's got this pen where you fill up with water, and basically um, as he uses the water on the book, basically um, the the images appear. start to appear. Um, this one's just about, I think it's about cars, this one, isn't it? About cars, cars and, like, got different pages. cars and transports and stuff like that. But I think there's probably more there than just this one, no? I don't uh, know. Probably, I don't know. I just thought that one I said, you know, I Sorry, you guys might hear my phone vibrating there behind. But yeah, so you can, um, so we just bought this again. 
I'm not sure if you can put it in the water. I'm not going to say no, put it in the can't. water. I don't think so. I think so. So you could use the pen or you can even use like a paintbrush if you have a paintbrush, depending on your child. You can use the, even the finger, maybe wet his finger and put his finger on top as well if he doesn't want to hold the pen. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't know how much you can actually use it. I don't know if it actually dries and then you can reuse it loads of yeah. I'm sure. The quality of it is not that great, I'll be honest with you. But it's just a good, you can do like a, a, a stocking present or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Just thing. a simple thing for, because you know what, when Santa gets to seven, eight months, you won't want, you won't want this. You never know, you might absolutely love it. Yeah, but you never just, know. I don't think you, you, there's much better, you'll be able to colour on, colour proper. Books, and this is just something easy to, you know now with crayons all of that he puts everything in his mouth and this is just water so it's nothing that's going to really harm him and and things like that so, is great as well, so yeah. stuff, stuff, yeah. and just start like, introducing him to actually draw and write and stuff like that so this is another one that we put okay this one is quite simple but it's quite fun as well also um, got that from Poundland guys yeah she was, she was dying to buy it from Amazon yeah but they're so expensive on Amazon I don't know I'm talking about I was like, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so yeah, so Pat was like, yeah, let's get these. And uh, these are water crayons. So we go to the bath. They can draw in the bath. And something like that. They'll rub out Phillips so uh, fine motor scale, something like that. Just for, um, you know, just have fun in the water. Always making it enjoyable. So that some, some children don't like water. So it helps them. So yeah, just little colours. I don't know if you can use them out of water, though. I don't think so. No, I think they're more water. I don't know, but I feel like they're more water ones. When I, where I've seen it, people have just used it mainly in the water. Actually, it says, draw with both crayon, no, with bath crayons on bath tile, porcelain, or other smooth surfaces. So I'm sure you can use it like on, on tables and stuff. But to so clean don't wipe, try and encourage it on the walls. I don't know how that works out. So to clean, wipe off with damp cloth and sponge immediately after use. I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so basically it's that. So I think it'd be alright. Maybe just for the first few bit doing the what? <laughs> the class two guys. Nothing. There's also one that's missing it. So I got Santiago some Christmas slippers, um, but they're at my house. So I'll post a picture of it. I just got it from um, Sainsbury's. Hopefully the, it's still there. And I can put the picture up. But if not, I'll just take it off the actual slippers. And yeah, it's just plain slippers. Put it right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, plain slippers for him to wear throughout of Christmas month. Okay, so. Um, this is a quite special, I think. I think this is a more outing for Yeah, just have fun, family, family, have days. fun family days. So I don't know how much everyone's heard about Lytopia, Lytopia, I think it's called. Yeah, because in Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Yeah. It wants to go, I think it was last year or the year of, of COVID, I'm not sure. I think it stopped for two years. And then we want to go last year and uh, mum caught COVID. It was a whole drama last year. You need year to get tickets. Months. So yeah. you do have to pay for this. So but if your child's younger than what? Two, I think it's free. They're so free. Santa's free. basically going free. <laughs> uh, so basically, um, yeah, so you pay, I think it's £24. Not to be mistaken. Yeah, it's quite that. pricey. But it's amazing. Yeah, people, like, people literally say it's, it's, it's wow. It's basically, what I know, it's a hike. It's not a hike. It's a walk around Crystal Palace Park. You've got like a trail. And down that trail, you see loads of stuff with lights. So it's perfect for Animals. children. Animals. Perfect for children that like sensory, um, obviously loads of lights, so if people are very thinking of eyes, make sure you're safe for that. But yeah, so basically just a trail, and again, I think they do like a waterfall show with like light stuff. Um, so we're going to take Santi on that, and I think I'm so excited for it, I I've really want to go with it. So I'm really close to happy. And the other one is a typical, of the typical winter wonderland. So it's something, it's actually a tradition that I want to keep going so every year, take him to winter wonderland, obviously until he actually likes it, until he gets to a point where he can go with his friends. Obviously I'm not going to go with him, which is going to be sad. But um, yeah, it's something that I really want to do with him every year. I know for a lot, of, to be fair, for me, it's not something that I really enjoy every time I go there, from 100% honest, because I used to love rides. I'm not a fan of them anymore. Um, and I just find things there a bit pricey, if I'm 100% honest, uh, for what you actually do. But it's always nice for your kids to experience it, and then they can progress. And I, I know this shit, they've got Santa own. Land. Yeah, they've got lots of stuff there. They've got like skating, yeah, ice skating. They've got, they've got shows and stuff. But obviously, the more stuff you do, the more expensive it is. Yeah, so basically, and now you have to pay to go. Before it used to be damn free, mm -hmm. and now you have to pay. So basically, what I read up was you pay for entrance, and but you book it online and you book things that you want to do there. So you can also obviously you can't you have to book online t for the ticket. Mm -hmm. But if you want to buy tickets, fine. But 
you when you get there you have to pay for attractions, food, yeah, stands for that. It's just quite so pricey. Everything is Especially bear in mind going with kids, especially older kids, they want everything. Do you know what I'm trying to say? With Santiago right now, he's not going to be like, I want this, I want that. He's just going to be looking around. Well, Santiago's free anyway as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, but yeah, just gonna, it's just something I want to do with them every year. Just something nice. And I'm going to be off for two weeks in Christmas, so they have to have some stuff to do. Um, but apart from that, really and truly, there's not really much else. Yeah, but I, I, I recommend people to research. I know there's a lot of free stuff going on. Yeah, as well, Especially yeah. to do, like, with Santa Grottos and stuff like that obviously you won't get as much as you'll get on the light one because i always say free things are nice but never as great as a pain yeah what you pay for. Yeah, it's true you, you what you pay for you always get what you're paying for basically well, sometimes you'd be surprised no but like usually christmas, <laughs> yeah, especially christmas stuff, yeah. you don't expect good things to be actually for free and whatever you get for free people can't really complain yeah know? it's true i'm like guys, person. that is it we've showed you guys everything i really hope you guys got some good ideas and if you didn't and you can't do it this year maybe leave it for next year doesn't really mind there's also things you can do throughout the year i just done them because it works for the advent calendar for santiago this year and also like on christmas i'm not planning on getting him too many gifts because let's be honest what can he unwrap not much right now um and he'll be sleeping by then so this is just something to do every single day with him you'll probably um, get more clothes for yeah for that. and i will be opening them as i said on tiktok every day so go over there and follow me and i'll show you guys him playing with it and if he was interested and if he was not showing my reviews at the end of the video uh, but yeah guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, these are um, directed for a seven month old. If your kids are older, maybe expand it a little bit or go for other ideas. But yeah guys, if you guys do have any questions, don't forget to message me. I will be here, I'll put it in the comments and I'll answer. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Can we rise through it all till we find what we want? Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just